Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In for view today is the classic wartime drama The Great Escape on 4K Blu-ray. Let's take a look at the tech specs. It was shot on 35mm, it's a native 4K transfer, the aspect ratio is 235 by 1, it's a 100GB disc, the runtime is 172 minutes and it's rated PG. The Great Escape, like a number of other United Artists films owned by MGM, has been licensed to Kino in 4K while Criterion holds the Blu-ray rights. In terms of picture quality, when I heard there would be no new HDR grading applied to the picture and that it would only have an SDR colour spectrum, I was interested to see how much of an improvement this 4K release would offer over Criterion's Blu-ray release in 2020. The reverse of the cover and case does show a Dolby Vision logo, but this is an error and it's definitely SDR only. Although not a massive leap, the image does display some nice enhancements to fine detailing alongside subtle improvements to the colour palette. Being shot on 35mm film, the picture carries an organic grain structure that has increased fluidity and a better overall consistency, with the native 4K resolution helping to present the movie more authentically. Sharpness and clarity is generally improved with increased refinement on skin textures and close-ups, and clothing looking sharper and more detailed, which is evident on the prisoner's uniforms and Steve McQueen's leather flying jacket. Exterior shots of the prison camp have an improved field of depth, highlighting finer background elements such as the barbed wire fences, the wooden huts and the pine forest. The image does have some inconsistencies though, which owners of the previous Blu-ray release will be aware of. A few scenes scattered throughout the runtime are softer and show heavier grain. One prominent sequence in particular is the 4th of July celebrations at the 80 minute mark. This could possibly be down to the general handling of the original source material and the age of the film. I did also notice some artefacting at the bottom of the image, visible in a few scenes. One example is when Steve McQueen first jumps on the motorbike, you can see it in the bottom left hand corner. Even with the absence of HDR, colours hold up pretty well and are consistent throughout, with this release favouring a cooler and more natural appearance than Criterion's warmer look. The earthy beige and brown hues from the wooden structures and prison camp grounds now look more realistic, whilst flesh tones and clothing appear more lifelike. When the prisoners escape, there's a bit more variety to the colour palette, showing off some nice environmental tones from the German countryside, the green grass, blue sky and the mountains all looking resplendent. Nighttime scenes look good, with adequate black levels and improved shadow detail, alongside some nice contrasting whites coming from the searchlights. Moving on to the audio quality, the 4K disc comes with two options, the original DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 mono soundtrack and the DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. For this review I opted to listen to the movie using the DTS 5.1. Predominantly the soundtrack is quite front heavy, occasionally utilising the rear speakers for extensions of certain effects, such as James Garner and Donald Pleasance's escape in the plane making for a slightly wider feel on the 5.1 than the 2.0 track. Alma Bernstein's legendary score sounds terrific and is integrated into the mix well with the LFE and added spaciousness from the surround channels giving extra life to the musical elements. Dialogue comes through clearly and efficiently without any issues. To summarise, I'll give the picture a 7.9. When the image has its chances to shine, it really does look good, but there are some inconsistencies and it's not all perfect. I still think overall Kino have done a good job with the transfer and it's great to see one of my favourite wartime movies coming to the 4K format. This is the best way to experience this classic. But I'll give the audio a 
Whether you choose the 5.1 or 2.0, I don't think you should be disappointed as both deliver a good experience. They haven't gone over the top with an Atmos track and I'm not sure how much it could have added anyway. Audio wise, these tracks should meet your expectations. So these are my thoughts on the Great Escape on 4K Blu-ray. Will you be picking this one up? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this type of content, why not consider subscribing as I have new videos out every week. Thanks for watching guys, enjoy your movies, bye!